And now we come to example 6. So we has two bought two VCDs. We can denote them by using V1, V2. And then two DVD. We can denote them using D1 and D2. And let's suppose we choose two of them randomly and lends to William. Find the probability of each of the following events. And before we can complete part A and part B, we can draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes. Again, we start from a single point, and uh, since we have a total of four discs, so, and uh, we have this one. We have four choices, V1, V2, D1, and D2. And again, we start from a single point to draw the tree diagram. And when we come to this two, and if the first this is V1, then what left behind will be only V2, D1, and D2 only. So actually, when we come to this two, we only have three choices. Therefore, we have V2, D1, and D2. And we can complete these three branches here. And we can repeat this for the remaining three choices of this one. And if we have D, V2 as this one, then we have V1, D1, D2, three choices in these two. And if we have D1 here, then we can have V1, V2, and D2 in these two. And finally, if we have D2 in this one, then we have V1, V2, and D1 in the disk number two. And so finally, we have a total of how many possible outcomes here? We have four times three equals to 12 possible outcomes. This is our law of multiplication. Again, we write down all the possible outcomes one by one. V1, V2, V1, D1, V1, D2. V2, V1, V2, D1, V2, D2. D1, V1, D1, V2. D1, D2. And then finally, D2, V1, D2, V2, and D2, D1. And therefore, the answer for part A will be William has borrowed two DVDs. Two discs, uh, two DVDs. We have a total of 12 possible outcomes. And we can see that two DVDs, we have one, two, no, we have only two, uh, two favorable outcomes. Therefore, this will be one over six. And uh, for part B, William borrowed one VCD and one DVD. Therefore, we can mark all the favorable outcomes which have one VCD and one DVD. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then there's a puppy. One V, one D. Eight over twelve. Therefore, this will be two over three.